Welcome to a new edition of Two Year Olds in Training. I'm Harold Howe in the frozen north of Canada. We're at Campbellville Training Center with Friday Dean, trying to talk about two year olds. But I, before we go, to that, I got to ask you, what the devil were you doing coming back from Florida when you did? I mean, Jesus, it's about three degrees today. Yeah, it's unusual, I guess. But uh, anyways, I uh, hope it don't last long. Absolutely. Okay, you've got uh, I guess seven two year olds you're in Florida with. You're back from. Uh, uh, the Deep South, and you're going to look show us four of them today. Let's start off with Dancing Hill, a homebred rock and roll Hanover. Uh, he's been nice all along uh, for rock and roll. He uh, he's not the uh, lazy type like a lot of them are, and uh, I, I really like him. Nice gated colt and good attitude, and don't have to ask him to go to to make him go. Right. So. And what range have you been in with your crew? He. he this cold here was in 15 when we left Florida, and then we trained them back here in 211 here over this track the other day. So, yeah. Good. Uh, All right, one uh, uh, that's next to Surprise Hanover, Better's Delight, half-brother to Shady Shark Hanover, I think that everybody remembers. Jim Carr owns him. He had to dip, dip in for 70000 at Harrisburg. Look like a good investment at this point? Well, so far, I think so. Uh, you know, he's a, a bit of a lazy uh, fella. I think once he gets in behind the gate with a bunch of other horses, he'll pick up. Good gated, nice airy going colt, you know, uh, slips over the ground pretty nice. And uh, and he's uh, so far so good. good. Our third one uh, that you're involved in personally, Northern Juno, a Camlock colt, 19,000 out of Harrisburg. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, John asked me to look at a couple of his yearlings. And this is John McKnight. Yeah, and uh, and asked me to pick out something that I liked, and he was one I did like. There was two that I picked out, and uh, and uh, he didn't get what he thought he should have got for this colt, so we ended up taking him to Florida, and uh, he's a little bit behind. He's been in 19 down there, and I give him some time when we got home. He's going to be something for later on in the summer, I hope, so... Uh, he, not a great big fellow, but, you know, he slipped across the ground all right. Yeah, uh, he, he's, he's got a nice way of going when you get him going, and I, he, he feels like he's got a motor under him, So, uh, uh, and he looks a bit like Doombag. So. Okay. <laughs> well, speaking of Doombag, it's funny you say that because you've got a filly here we're going to look at, Bundoran. Now, this is a some beach somewhere out of a half-sister to Doombag. Uh, yeah, uh, she's been nice from day one. Uh, acts like she's got some high speed and uh, uh, once you get her rolling she uh, she's got a real nice gait to her uh, the mother was a grin and she took a 54 record as a two-year-old and uh, and uh, was a nice filly and so she's uh, got a license yeah yeah and uh, coming from Dooney's family uh, I've had some luck with that family so just a little bit yeah <laughs> just a little bit okay well thanks very much for sharing your thoughts and Hopefully it warms up for you guys. Yeah. I just heard uh, that uh, they had a bit of snow up at First Line Training Center this morning. So this is the 25th of May. I mean, come on. Yeah, I think it's about time to warm up. Okay, Friday. Thanks very much and good luck. Okay, thank you. Harold Howe with Friday Dean, two-year-olds in training.